Okay, here's a look at my collection of Shark Dercons. So here's just a quick look at some of the Shark Dercons that were made. So what I want to do is just go over them. Starting off first, as always, with the original G1. So here is a look at the original G1 Sharktercon null. So you can see yeah, what it looks like. It's with those neon green uh, eyes, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, typical of season three using all these new different colors. So look at the side, really nice. Nice, uh, simple uh, sculpted uh, figure and uh, very typical G1. You have these chrome plated uh, silver for his teeth, which are nicely sculpted. It's really cool. Um, and let's see the articulation. This is cool. You got this ratcheted arm, so that's nice. Um, and some stickers and uh, unfortunately he doesn't have those antennas so let's compare this with the animation model so you can see and uh, where they base the uh, toy off of so that's uh, it's interesting let's just take a look at the back also because that's kind of cool so that's a quick look at the original G1. And then after G1, there was the Chug line, but there was no official uh, Chug Shark to Con. That's why the uh, third party made their version. So here, this is a eye gear version of a Shark to Con. And here is Unique Toys version of a Shark to Con. So let's uh, do a comparison there. There are some differences. Obviously, the eyes. I like how um, Iger used these uh, transparent uh, yellow gold for the eyes. But uh, Unique Toys went with this nice uh, chrome gold for the eyes. So that's kind of cool. So you have to remember, during this time, these were meant to resemble the character, but they were still putting in their own design. And uh, they're putting in a lot of detail. I mean, you can just appreciate like all this nicely sculpted detail. Really nice. I mean, even on both of them. I mean, it's not without its flaws. Um, so I'll just uh, point that out. I mean, it's the uh, antennas. Even though they were nice enough to give you these antennas to be more cartoon accurate, both of them have an issue with uh, staying in. So I'm still debating if I want to put some super glue in there to prevent them from coming off. Colors are a little off too. Um, but, you know, during the Chug era, I mean, it didn't matter too much because it... This looks close enough. I mean, just look at those, these uh, teeth. These are really cool. And um, eye gear, <laughs> they went a little overboard. I mean, that's, I think, it's really cool. So that's a, a quick look at the chug version of um, the Shark Decons. And then, we have the uh, official that came out under the Legends. I don't remember, but uh, here's the Hasbro version, the Takata version, and then the uh, Quintesson 5-pack exclusive. And then Mech Fans Toys <laughs> did a KO upgrade version of this with the nice antennas. 
So here's just a quick look at those four. So here's the Hasbro version, which, yeah, it's okay, I guess. Um, this was before the Hasbro Takata merge. merge. So Takata was doing a, a much better job with like the paint and stuff. Perfect example, like look at right here, you got the red detail and the yellow. So that's um, uh, more, a little more cartoon accurate. Plus, um, you know, they gave you a headmaster, which was the gimmick at that time, where it transforms into a scourge or a sweep head, <laughs> which, didn't seem practical because what are you going to attach that to? But they gave you an extra accessory. And then just straight up repaint for that five pack. Uh, it's kind of interesting just in that, you know, it's a different color. And then the Mech Pants Toys, look at this. Mech Pants Toys always does that. They do a KO, but they improve things. So they have these antennas, which I will point out, you have to be very careful not to break those. And look at all the nice metallic finish too. It just makes it look so much uh, better, in my opinion. So here's a look at those. So that's really cool. And then the side. And then there was another retail version which this one was more for the kids uh, but I got it just because you know it kind of looked cool and it'd be nice just to build on my Shark Tacon army so the nice uh, neon green it's kind of paying homage to the original G1 toy so that's uh, cool this has a gimmick too which I'll show you later in robot mode very minimal articulation though. No articulation in the, the arms up here, even in robot mode. They uh, spent more of the money on this gimmick that it has in robot mode. And then, just like I thought after that, they were going to re release a better version, which they did, the Studio Series version. So this is the closest to uh, um, cartoon accurate as you can get with the exception of this whole leg being exposed it should be covered with um, the wings that he's supposed to have but you know this is cool nonetheless and then what was even cooler is for those legends collectors they did give you an undersized version which I think this is really cool so you get an undersized version and then just recently I did get the oversized version which I did make a review of that if you wanted to see it um, so this is cool so this is um, the closest to a masterpiece scale Shark that you can get this is not masterpiece uh, quality because it's a uh, you know missing the cover here and um, it's even missing the spikes on his head. So, uh, you know, X Transbot's most likely probably gonna make one and I'm not gonna get all into it, but I'm not gonna get that um, uh, for a lot of reasons because of the issues with the uh, X Transbot. But that's a, a look at the uh, Studio Series version. So now let's uh, transform it and take a look at them in robot mode. Okay, here's a look at them in their robot mode. So here's a look at the original G1, then the Chug era, Eye Gear, Unique Toys, and then the official Hasbro Takata reissue the mech fans toys the kids version of it and then the uh, studio series version so let's just uh go over it real quick in uh, robot mode 
So here's a look at the original G1 and he does have trouble standing because uh, he doesn't have any heels back here. But here's what you get. Here's a look at uh, the weapon. Um, very typical G1. It's very minimal articulation, but you do get the nice chrome uh, plated uh, silver, some silver sticker decal. Very simple design. I mean, that's cool. They did give you the wings like he should have. So yeah, let's just uh, compare this with the animation model so you can see. First of all, it's like I said, let's see if I can get him to stand and compare this with the animation model and you could see where they base the um, uh, toy off of because I think they actually designed the character first and then they were basing the toy. So this is the reverse of the original G1. So it's just a quick look at that and uh, just for the heck of it, let's compare the back also. Uh, just interesting so you can have reference what the original looks like. So that's a, a look at the original G1. And then a look at the, the two Chug versions by iGear and Unique Toys in their robot mode. And uh, here we can get a comparison of the two. So let's uh, zoom in, take a close-up look at that head. It's a funny looking head, but it's really nicely sculpted. And look at the attention to all this uh, detail. And then um, the Unique Toys version. <laughs> look at the head. The colors. Are what makes uh, this interesting also um, but the colors are not uh, accurate to the cartoon just um, I mean that's what uh, you get with uh, the chug figures so let's just uh, take a look the side has very has trouble standing because they don't have heels well actually this one they did give you heels I didn't uh, them out so that's cool um, so I gear really did make some cool figures unique toys look at those feet are too small so here's just uh, but they did give you <laughs> the wings like he should have let's bring these down okay again really nice uh, detail it's a nice uh, chug figure so this is a, a look at uh, the two chug figures and I think I'll, uh, these pins, those, they're not uh, really stable so he has kind of a loose leg. And the eye gear, they actually also gave you a, another gun which is kind of cool. I don't know where they base this gun off of but it's not G1, very stylized. So that's a quick look at the G1. And then let's bring in the uh, official, the Legends. So here's the Hasbro, and then the Takata, and then the reissue under that five pack, which is basically different colors. And then the uh, Mech Fans Toys, which think is really cool I mean so you just compare the four right there so Hasbro you know it's cool but before that merge so you could see Takata did a better job with uh, the paint and then the reissue which is basically just different colors kind of cool and then the mech fans toys with the nice metallic finish so this is really cool so that's a, a look at these guys in uh, robot mode. Let's just do this so you can kind of see, you know, from the side. Yeah, these guys are 
These guys were cool. I was tempted to <laughs> build a Sharktacon army off of these, but I'm glad I didn't because, uh, well, not really because of this. This is the kids' version. Uh, and now I could show you that gimmick that they add um, where, you know, you can uh, have them um, swinging his arms, if I can get this to work. Um, figure out how this works. These arms, they do uh, swing around like so. This one's a, uh, yeah, I wonder how the kids do this if I can't figure it out, yeah. So it has this, uh... <laughs> so they give you that, uh, gimmick compromising the articulation and this made no sense they gave you a peg to lock it so now you can't move his leg up and down and so you just get a knee bend and the arm just a swivel so that's a look at the uh, front with line i think this was the cyberverse or something but this is definitely a kid's version and then, like I was saying, I'm glad I didn't get them because there was the Studio Series version, which this is now the closest uh, we get to uh, cartoon accurate Shark to Con. So this is uh, really nice. So we have the official, the undersize, and the oversize. And like I said, I, I made a video of it of the oversize if you're interested in seeing that but that's a look at my um shark to con collection and i think i'll just uh put all of them up so you can see what a huge army this is okay and here's one final look at all of the shark to cons and uh actually Actually, I have a, a couple of more. I have three more of these uh, McFans Toys version. And uh, I actually have nine more of the uh, official Studio Series version. But here's a look at uh, all of them. And back there, if you saw my other video, I got a QC. So I got two left leg thighs um because it's missing that uh, peg you can see because this is uh, another left thigh it should be a right thigh but anyways um here's just uh one final look at all of the shark cons so pretty awesome in my opinion let's see which one actually looks the best I think in shark mode, I think the McFans toys looks pretty good, but that's it. That's my collection.